everyone. Hi, it's Rita. Okay, okay, well, enough, enough, enough. Hi, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue for um, here today for Cricket Chat. Hello, Leslie. Hi, Shirley. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. What is it? March 9th already. No, March 9th. And um, we're headed back. We're heading back to uh, our old favorite, which is paper crafting. Um, after having spent a couple of exciting days looking at the brand new Cricut release of the Auto Press. If you didn't catch it yesterday, I did a full demo of how the Auto Press works. That's the large. Um, the the professional uh, grade, I guess, um, machine that is coming out that was introduced on Monday. Uh, I did get some questions about price and availability. The price will be $9.95 and the um, availability won't be until May. So if it's something you want to get, um, you can save up your money for that. Maybe take your tax return. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> whatever you want to do and um, and buy that. It's beautiful. Um, I wanted to show you the hot press today. Unfortunately, I cannot because I do not have the app yet. And the app is really fabulous and I want to show you, but I don't have the app on the right device. So I can't show you that. Hopefully by Monday, I'll be able to do that. Um, but for now, no. Um, so there are two kinds, I should say, two kinds of presses that are coming out. Um, there's the Easy Press 3, which is going to come out in mini size. Uh, nine by nine and the 12 by 10. <coughs> they are all the same color, which is Arctic blue. Only the nine by nine and the 12 by 10 will be working with the app. The mini will not. The heat, uh, the hat press will work with the app as well. So there's only three machines that will work with the app. The auto press, as you saw yesterday, has its own pod that you do the controlling of the temperature and setting and all of that. So, um, so that was yesterday. If you missed it, feel free to go back to, um, to my YouTube channel and watch that again. It's really fun. I had a really good time making t-shirts for International Women's Day and even repurposing a stained shirt for me to wear um, with a Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, I don't know what it is, a, a picture and, and a quote that I love of her. So, um, Susan's birthday today. Happy birthday, Susan. Um, also wanted to say hello to all my friends. I see Dawn, Emmy, Babs, Loretta's back. Hi, Loretta, Leilani, um, Leslie, who else? Kirsten. Kirsten, how are you, Kirsten? Did Oh, the other thing I want to mention is my Empress came in the mail. It must have come last night when I was asleep uh, because it was waiting for me. Um, I don't know, or maybe it came really early this morning. Who knows? But it was waiting for me. And of course, I unpacked it and had to try it. Um, it came with these dyes, these these cute dies. So I only had like a little sheet of paper available. So I ran them through the machine. These were very thick pieces of paper. Um, so look at that butterfly. And then there's a flourish. Wait a second here. There's a word birthday and then there's the flourish but I haven't had a chance to go through and do any embossing which was the reason why I bought it but I will tell you as I was unboxing it I will tell you that 
this machine is a little bit like it's a little less daunting than having a cricket. And somebody um, did recently uh, mention to me that they had a machine that they hadn't even taken out of the box. And this is the thing about these machines is that they can be a little overwhelming at first, but if you follow along, you can quickly get the hang of things. And the stuff that I show you is some of its basics and some of its overwhelming and that's okay because I want you to come out where you're at and um and learn as you go don't leave your machines in the box because um they do you no good there and you paid for it so or somebody else paid for it so get it out of the box at least and um play around because you can do that in fact a lot of the machines have like things you can start off with okay um it's not hard it's not a computer needed it is it's very easy you do need some supplies um and you know so there there you go but um but it was it's fun we'll play with it some more and um and we'll get to you on that tomorrow um or i don't know if tomorrow maybe saturday night the other thing is uh i started playing around with these little uh pieces of wood so this is it add some glitter i'm i found these little pieces of wood actually i should say my dogs found them they were somewhere in their reach which as i mentioned to you before um they are short dogs but they're curious and i was cleaning up my um, supply area and somehow they got to these little panels they're called art panels sometimes you can get them and they are canvas covered so that's what this is and sometimes you can get them like this whether they're stained or not stained but since somebody mentioned wood yesterday I thought oh these I have these that are wood so I I decided to try out iron on on wood and I was able to um, come up with this and then I thought well with with um, St. Patrick's Day coming um, we'll do some in St. Patrick's Day like little sayings uh, my mom was always one to give little tiny gifts like there are some people that like mini everything and my mom was always one of them so and and I so I always had like these little tchotchkes or whatever you want to call them knickknacks um hanging around and it was great because you know always working at computer and I would either if they were tapable, I would tape them to my computer, as you can see here, or I'd have them on my little, um, on my, uh, down here on, on the surface. So that way, just kind of remind me of whoever gave it to me, or if I picked it up, um, it would remind me. So many gifts. Yeah. Many, many gifts. And so, I want to um, show you how to make something like that with these really cute uh, wood things. Now, can you buy these now? Not these wood ones. I picked them up a long time ago. Um, maybe they'll come out again. But I do see on the Michaels website that these are called canvas panels. Um, they at one time came with denim. They came in white canvas. Uh, they came in burlap canvas. So this is something that they're always kind of playing with and they're cheap and make the most adorable little gift. And maybe even if you had like a tripod to hold it up would be really cute. Um, and you could put it in your, uh, in your display, your China cupboard or something like that. I just really like these little gifts. So we're going to do those tomorrow. Um, and I'm also working on a prayer card for, uh, for St. Patrick's Day. It's an Irish blessing that is going to be, um, I'm hoping, I'm trying to make it into both a card that can have a, it ha it'll have a removable prayer card. Does anybody remember those little cards? Um, just looked at Michael's and they have lots of art panels. Yeah. And they come in different sizes, like three by four. I think these are three by four. 
yeah, they come in three by four, all the way up to the large sizes, eight by tens and stuff. But uh, these are just such cute little things to add stuff to, whether you want to do vinyl or in this case, we're going to be doing iron on. We'll do, we'll go back to using um, the, let's see, maybe we'll use the new um, Easy Press 3 to show you how you can use it without the app. So we're going to do that tomorrow. And then on Friday, the freebie is going to be from our friends at Barely Art. So let's go on over to Barely Art. I want to just show you that. It's their website is barely.art and they had a really cute kitty um, kitty image that I really liked. So um, and they just recently had this cards for cubs thing come out. So might as well get people to have a look. So there's a lot of really cutesy things here. And I thought I saw a cat, a little a little cat but we'll i'll pick out what we do here because um because they have a lot of really great stuff so um so we'll kind of oh look at these popcorn cards so we'll head over to barely dot art b-e-a-r-l-y dot art and we'll be doing something from here i have to have a look so i can um i can have i can see what we're going to do. Oh, there's even a gable box, which is pretty cool. We could do that. So, um, and you know what I like about this gable box? It comes in two pieces so you can make it bigger. Ooh, very nice. Maybe we'll do that and decorate it with leprechauns or something like that. There seems to be a lot of leprechauns and look, a waterfall card, really cute. There's some avocado things. This one says, let's celebrate. <laughs> Oh, here's the cat one. You're perfect to me. You're perfect to me, kitty cat, kitty coward. So I was thinking about doing that, but we'll see what happens. Um, and let's see, I'll move this up so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's going to be for, um, for the rest of the week. Um, and today we're going to work on a card that I put together actually sitting uh, at my table eating breakfast and um yesterday and and i saw on my calendar this really awesome so you have to kind of keep your eyes open for inspiration so i saw on my calendar this really adorable saying it said friends are like four leaf clovers hard to find and lucky to have and i jotted it down and i added like you because i thought it would be like giving a card it would say friends like you. So I started in my head, I jotted down the saying. So I started with that in my head and tried to figure out how am I going to um, make this? And I'm going to show you all the little iterations of how I, I made this. Okay. And um, it's fun because I made it in a, uh, as a vinyl cut and then I changed my mind and turned it into print then cut but I kept the other pieces out um and so uh thank you thank you Annette um so I just really liked it and you know four leaf clovers everybody's doing and I did look for some St. Patrick's Day cards and to be quite honest um if I didn't have a lot of I couldn't find a lot of green paper. So, um, and uh, I used to have some, I think they were doodle bug papers, but I think I might've used them all. And so I started thinking, how am I going to get around um, not having too much paper? And so I, I sort of improvised with this, making this the card. So we're going to get started on this. Um, but I also wanted to remind you you make every day better. Oh, thank you, Babs. Oh, thank you so much. You're going to make me cry, Babs. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, because I, I feel like I've been having a hard time. I think I'm just really, really stressed out when I hear about these families in Ukraine that are dying, just trying to escape. Oh, man, 
it's so hard. It's so hard. Anyway, sorry. Um, it's hard to stay positive in that, but we have to, we have to. So, um, so at any rate, sorry, didn't mean to get off the, off the track. Um, <laughs> thank you, Eileen. So, um, so at any rate, we are going to, we are going to do this card and we're going to have fun. But before I get going, um, and can't read the read the comments anymore. I just want to remind you that this is one of the last days for um, spreading the word about Cricket Chat on Facebook and getting your name in for this adorable sunflower um, cutie that's been sitting here on my desk waiting to go home with you um, or go home to you, maybe with a few little extras as well. And um, and so all you have to do to get this is go to my Facebook account and follow and like um, if you're already following and liking, all you have to do is share something, anything from my page so that other people will also follow um, and like. We originally had a goal of getting over this hump that we were at, like almost at 16. Well, we did that. So thank you. That was a huge milestone. We also have a month-long giveaway going on right now that is four sep no not four five separate prizes five bundles or well five separate prizes one being the table lamp the bright 360 table lamp which has a retail value of two hundred dollars and then which i thought was the biggest prize but then when i was looking at the prices yesterday um the bundle with the mini is actually the more expensive it's worth 275 dollars it includes the easy press mini the original one in raspberry with um the easy press mat and i think uh like 13 rolls or somewhere around 12 13 rolls of iron on and that is going to be so much fun for somebody to win and then the other three prizes are pretty awesome too there's two essential bundle bundles and one everything bundle also worth um close to 275 dollars so this month i am giving away close to one thousand dollars worth of prizes in the past i've only been able to give away 500 but due to a change in um, the way the Cricut does things, I'm able to give away all these products up to $1,000. So I'm doubling my giveaways. And all you have to do is follow me and help me reach my goal of uh, 20,000 subscribers. And we are about 600 people away from 20,000 subscribers. And I really want to meet that goal. Um, so, so please, please, please <laughs> tell your friends or tell your anybody um, about it and you get your name in there. This is my way of thanking you for spreading the word about our fun time. And, um, and so I want to reach more people as much as I love our small group. I do want to reach more people because it does help me. It supports me by, um, by having people watch the videos. It, it does. That is one way that you can help uh, people like me is to watch the videos and, you know, watch them over or just watch old ones or whatever. And without you spending a dime, because then what that does is it increases my views and it helps to monetize my site. So, you know, it's, it's kind of complicated, but that's, that's that anyway. All right. So let's get started. So I loved, I was sitting at the kitchen table, eating my breakfast and looking at my calendar. And I, um, and I saw this saying, friends are like four leaf clovers, hard to find and lucky to have. And it was done in a really beautiful, like script and, and the clovers and lucky were, were sort of standing out. So I wanted to do something like that. So the first thing that I did was let's move all this stuff over so that you can um, see what I, how my thought process went was I did um, put in a shape. I started off with my square because 
I kind of wanted to see how I was going to squish this all from a 12 by 12 thing to a five by seven inch card. So here is my um, square. That's going to be become my base that I'll work from. I'm unlocking it and then I'm changing the width to five and the height to seven. And I'll change the color to white just so for it's easy. Now I'm going to go in search of a text, a, a font. Now there's been a change in the way text works. So if you haven't tried it recently, you really should. It's really actually much better. So all you need to do is hit this T right here that says text. Now, normally what would happen before is you would um, have a little box and then a box that you typed into, right? And they were kind of separated and sometimes you couldn't see that little box um, and, and it was a little confusing. Now you're just going to get one box. It says text to start with. And so I'm going to just start typing my, um, and I'm actually going to move the font so you can have a true feeling of, of what you get when you first hit text. Where's the cricket sans? Cricket sans. That's what happens when you don't choose a, let's do that. Cricket sans. So when you have a text box, it automatically opens up to the last text you are using on this project or Cricut Sans, which is what I, I made it into. So you'll have this little text box so you can start typing here. So I'm going to type in friends like you are like four leaf. Now I want to make clover its own thing. Okay. So I'm actually going to skip the word clover and then I'm going to just type in the rest, which is hard to find and lucky to have, right? So, and skip lucky to have. All right. So there's our our text. Now it's not in the format that I created because A, it's not in the right um, font. I'm going to show you where I got this font. So it's not in the right font. Plus you see my letters are bigger and smaller and all of that. Plus I have these clovers here. So um, let's go in search first of a font. Um, so we will click on this and go up here to font. Now, I was thinking about, you know, capitalization on this and I decided that I would probably choose a font that is thin and sort of all capitals and then choose a really like flowy font for the two words. So that's what I had in my head. So I went up here to the fonts and I know of one called Four Seasons. It's an old font, but I really like it. Four Seasons Home Decor. And it's it's nice because it looks good, small and big and, and it's uh, really just very simple. So I'm going to choose that. And there it is. Four Seasons. Friends like you are four leaf heart. And it's called Four Seasons and it's four leaf clovers, right? So let's first do something easy. And we're just going to go change the color on this. So we'll change it to green. And then I am going to go ahead and don't even need to align this to center because I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to ungroup to lines. And the reason why I'm doing that is that, see, obviously this is really big and I want to make it smaller. So I'm thinking, you know, up here we'll put friends like you. And then just below it, we'll put our like four leaf clovers. I think that's pretty cool. Now hard to find is going to be bigger, I think. Um, so this is what I did. And then, and um, the and has to be kind of small. And then the have has to be probably about like that one. So now I have, isn't that cool? Um, so now what we're going to do is look for a 
font. We're going to change fonts and we're going to look for a font that has like some, let me see, where is my lucky? Lucky, where are you? Okay, here you go. That is like kind of a script. And I just love the idea of the script um, fonts being in here. So I just want to show you. And um, so here's where I had, I have these clovers. Now, We'll talk about adding those clovers in a second. But um, I started thinking, well, what would I do with this? Am I going to cut this out in vinyl? At first I thought, yeah, maybe I'll cut it out in vinyl. Um, and then, uh, so let's go ahead and, and do another text box. Now remember, it's still going to be in the four seasons, um, but uh, we'll change that. So here we go. I have Clovers and Lucky in a separate text box. Now I'm going to go back up to fonts and I'm going to choose a Cricut font because that way in case you guys can't, I'll give you this file, but in case you guys can't open it, you'll know how to do it. And I actually chose this font. It's called Babette. I really like it. And it's kind of like, you know, it's all over the place kind of thing. And so I thought that's pretty cool. However, um, let me just ungroup two lines here. When I tried to um, change the size, I did have a little problem with the L, the loop in the L. So um, let's see if it maybe is going to be um, a problem still. So here is my clothes and lucky clovers. I'm going to change this to gold. And so let's change it to gold here. And now I'm starting to think, ah, this is great, but it needs some pictures, right? So, and I might need to make a few adjustments here, you know, and, uh, and then I thought, well, if I'm going to make this into a card, I need to put a mat there. So let's first do that. So we're going to take this card and we're going to go to offset up here and we're going to choose a quarter inch square. So we do the angled one offset. So we'll apply that. And then I will find some green paper to put in the back here. So I'll just change it to green. So like that. All right. And I realized too that my green here, these greens are kind of dark. So I think I'm going to change it to a lighter green just because after I put that thing on there, I'm like, I hope people can see that it's, that it's actually green. Okay. So these are all the little things that I do. You don't have to do them, but I want you to understand um, how somebody who makes cards all the time um, does things, right? And, and sort of thinks about it. So at this point, I'm thinking, you know, I think that I'll cut both of these out as vinyl and put it on a white background. So that was what I was thinking. And then um, I'm like, it does need some little doodads. Let's go get a clover. So we went to images and um, we just typed in um, shamrock because I want to just tell you that uh, shamrock is really a three leaf clover. A lot of people think a shamrock and a four leaf clover are the same and they're not. Um, but I did type in shamrock just to show you the difference. And you'll see that there are a lot of really great options here. Um, you can also type in four leaf clover or just clover and um, see what happens. And I wanted something that wasn't going to be really long. Like this is beautiful, but it's too long and it would get in the way of, um, of my saying. So I believe I picked, uh, I think I just picked maybe this one. Oh no, I wanted a four leaf clover. So I went over here to four leaf and typed in four leaf there. I think I'll choose this one. I do have it saved. So that that's a possibility there. So 
let's choose that. Obviously, it's going to come in really large. And also, it's going to be coming in with um, the stem pointing only one way. So let me show you what you can do about that. So first of all, there is the stem pointing to the right. So let's duplicate it. And let's get this shamrock stem to point to the left. We do that by going up here to a seldom used uh, option called flip. And we do flip horizontal. And there we have now two different shamrocks. But they're really quite big. And where are we going to put them? Well, it's okay. We can make them smaller and just sort of get them in there and move them around and change where they're going. And as we're doing that, we can, I think four would, would look pretty good because it's four leaf clovers. So as we're doing that, I think maybe like one here, flip it. Hmm. Right. And maybe one over, over here. I don't know. I think one up here and then one here, but they're obviously really big. So I am going to change the size of the clovers, but it might mean that I have to change some of the uh, positioning of the text and that's okay too. Um, and so here we go. Let's just kind of make these smaller might have to change the the size of the text as well and that's all just nudging and and coming up with a good plan for that and so that's all we're doing here right i don't like that this is touching the font so i'm going to make this one pretty small and do it over here so it's starting to look pretty cool then i have a huge idea. Um, what if I turned this into um, a print and cut, but instead of print and cutting the whole thing, I cut out the vinyl in vinyl. I cut out the clovers and lucky the the fancy thing in in a gold matte vinyl, and I turn the rest of the card into print and cut. So I thought, wow, Rita, awesome idea. <laughs> and so what I did was I started to take away all the things that I didn't want in the print and cut. And I am just going to go here and just make a couple more little adjustments. These are a little bit big. Um, all right. And then all I have to do is select this whole thing. So I have my shamrocks, make sure they're where you want them. And then your text is the right color, the right size. And then you select the whole thing and you go down here to flatten. What this is going to do is it's going to take the image from like three layers and make it two. So you need to make changes here before you flatten. So for instance, if I wanted to, I could make my shamrocks lighter green or darker green, kind of like that idea. So let's do that. So I make the shamrocks dark green and the text light green. That's pretty cool. And I think Santo's here. Um, okay, okay. He's going to take you for a walk. All right. So here you go. Here it is. I'm going to select it all just like this. And then I'm going to flatten it. And you'll notice it looks a little bit differently because it's going to print on my printer. Okay. And then here we go. There is the background. I am going to have to cut this out. And then these things, which I have to arrange to the front, um, are going to be cut out separately and added to that print then cut element. Okay. Now it's turning into a really nice looking card, right? But we need to make it an actual card. So um, this is simple, but something I do all the time. So, uh, so let's do that. We're going to hit shapes. We're going to choose a square. Let's ungroup it or un unlock it. I'm just going to move our card over here unlock it and we're going to change it to a width of 10 and a height of seven 
Okay. That's basically a full card with, we're going to add a, um, let's change it to white. And uh, let's also go to shapes and add a score line. So score line is right up here at the very top. So here's my score line and I am not going to worry too much about placement because once I have it the length I want it, because you do have to lengthen it, I'll then take these two and I will go to a line, which is right up here. We're using all the tools today. So we're going to hit a line and we're going to choose center. Then I know my card is going to be cut in half exactly. Okay. So then I select this all and I go down here to attach. Now, one thing that we need to worry about because I didn't before. All right. All right. Is um, the. I have too many things on my on my screen. Um, I'm trying to re, I'm trying to get this. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right. This group. There it is. Okay. So um, this is actually bigger than my card. And that was because, remember, I added the offset layer. So I'm going to arrange this to the front and make sure I squish it down to fit on this card. So it needs to be five inches wide and unlock it and make it seven inches high. All right. Now we've got what? Now we've got, I hit the wrong button, sorry. Now we've got the front of our card, the actual card base, but we need something for the inside. So let us go over here to phrases and we will look for a phrase that says, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, St. Patrick's. I've never been uh, keen on calling it St. Patty's Day. And a lot of times people um, have a hard time with it being Patty with a D. Um, and I just like St. Patrick's because um, it reminds me of Patrick, the actual saint who was um, who brought uh, Christianity to the Irish for to the Ireland. Um, and it always just kind of makes me smile. Um, and the three leaf clover, I don't know if you know this, this, um, thing here, but the three leaf clover, the regular clover was a great way for him to explain the Trinity, the father, son, and the Holy ghost or the Holy spirit. And, um, that's why often he's associated with that. And of course, Ireland was covered in these clovers. So, um, so here are our sayings, like have a lucky St. Patrick's Day. Um, some of that I wouldn't choose, but like green beer and stuff like that. So I just want something that was like kind of cute and to sort of show the shamrocks again. So I chose this one. And I'm going to add it to, it's like a pot of gold. And it is like the inside of the card. So I thought that would look kind of cool there. But I do have to remember that I am going to attach that there. So there we go. Now we have a full card and we are ready to go. Let me first, before we go ahead and, um, and do something, I'm just going to get rid of all this extra stuff. Um, I'm going to just group it and hide it all. There we go. Okay. Now we can go back to our card. So when we go to make this, we are going to have a print and cut element. We're going to have a regular card that requires scoring and writing. We're going to have, because I'm working with the Baker three, we're going to have a couple of pieces that need to be cut out with smart materials. So let's have a look at what it, what comes out to when you are um, going to hit make it. So let's hit make it. And um, I do like to put this 
I like to make two cards, right? Um, and what I want to show you is even if you have a print and cut element and you have a three machine, it is going to ask you what your materials are going to be. And in this case, I did choose multiple ways, um, but you can choose on mat or without mat. If you do it, um, if you choose without mat, that print and cut will still be on the mat. Okay. It's just because it can't do print and cut smart with smart materials. Okay. So there's our print and cut and let's go ahead and change the project product project copies to two. So we're going to have two of these and we don't have to worry about size because a five by seven it's like a little less than five by seven, which fills in that parameter of six and three quarters by 9.25. Here is the card. This works great with our eight and a half by 11 inch paper. And we'll have two of those. And what's, where's the other one? Okay. And these are, um, these are the things that I'm going to use paper with. Okay. So I actually have to change this over here to be on the mat. The only thing that I'm going to cut without the mat is, is the clovers and the lucky. Now I want you to see this because it's really driving me nuts. See how the uh, loop inside the L filled in this? I could not I could not get over. I don't know why it did that. It didn't do it in the Lucky, and the Lucky is actually smaller. So I tried all kinds of different things. I think that's one of those that I have to check with Cricut on on why it does that. Okay, so um, so now we're all set to go ahead and make it. We'll hit continue here because we've chosen our files. Now remember up here on the print and cuts, we're going to do send to printer. <laughs> yeah, it's Sanjo. Sanjo's here. Um, we're going to hit send to printer and we're going to take away bleed, but we're going to use the system dialog because I want to have the best print that I but I, that I want um, the best looking print. So I want to see the system dialogue. I hit print. Now, if the system dialogue doesn't show up, which it wasn't yesterday, it was just the circle. Don't be alarmed. Hit up here to minimize your design space. And there's your system dialogue. So here we go. There's my system dialogue. And if you want to save yourself a little extra step, since we are making these tw two at a time, you can change your copies to two. Now what I have done, let me just change my copy to two. Come on. What I have done is put in some printable vinyl in my, in, I'm just going to check and make sure it's in there. Hold on. No, it's not. And it got a lot of questions about this. This is called printable vinyl. And this is actually the old packaging on the site. So um, if you buy this, you'll see that it has some new packaging. If you buy the new packaging or if you buy the one that has the old packaging, you'll get the old packaging. There is nothing different about old and new packaging um, of the product. So I'm putting inside there into my printer, just like that. And I'm going to hit print. And um, so again, just as far as this goes, this printable vinyl and also the sticker paper um, have new packaging, but the actual product is the same as it was before, which means... Um, if you can get that sticker paper to work in your printer, some of the other um, product experts have really good printers. You guys know me. I have the cheapo printer and uh, I'm just going to wait for it to die. So, so for me, the sticker paper from Cricut does not work inside my cheapo printer. So buyer beware. 
that even though it has new packaging, that sticker paper is not any different than the old sticker paper. Okay. And something's going on with my printout. So I have a jam. Hold on. Okay. Well, I have a jam. Isn't that always the way? So let's pretend like it worked and we will just go ahead and go to the smart vinyl and cut the smart vinyl. Okay. Cause I know that will work. So today I'm using this smart vinyl. It's called matte metallic. See that matte metallic. It's like a shimmery gold. It's not that flat gold. Um, and this is smart vinyl. So that means I can use it in uh, the Maker 3 or the Explore 3. And um, I like that. I like to be able to do that. So here's my Maker 3. If you do not have a Maker 3 or an Explore 3, you can still do this. You just need to um, put it on a mat. Okay. So don't get upset if you see me using the new stuff. I just want people to know about the new stuff. I still also use the old stuff all the time. But I figure, hey, why not show people, right? So it's actually going to, I did this and it's actually going to um, probably kick me out. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. So I chose Smart Vinyl Permanent. And my little trick with working with vinyl is I always add more pressure um, and you do that right there on the screen. And then you go ahead and hit the blinking um, button and it will cut out our, um, our page. Now and here, I also have already printed this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on because I have a jam. And so there's my um, smart paper. I also cut out my card again. Yes, I know. I know it. I know. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Loretta. So it's cutting out my smart vinyl. I know. I know he's here. Why isn't he taking you for? Why isn't he taking you out? I don't know. All right. So there's my smart vinyl. One thing that I did notice with the smart vinyl is when you're cutting it, it's really good to make sure you cut it from the back as long as you know where your um, thing ends. So I need to do it somewhere here like this, you see, because um, putting it in the machine the next time, it needs to be nice and flat for it to go into the machine correctly. So I'm just going to cut this like this. All right. All right, so there's our smart vinyl. Now, one thing that I just remembered is that I printed out this um, this print and cut before I um, before I created it, like new for you today. So instead of putting it in the machine, I have to do something different, and that is I have to. I have to cut it um, by hand. This is just one of those oops, I goofed and it's a live thing. So um, so that you can see this. Normally you can put it in your machine, but in this case, I have to cut it out by hand. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to just cut off these edges here so that I know what I'm working with. And then I'll show you what I'll do here. 
just cut these edges off all of them all four this if you've never seen one is one of my favorite tools it's called a personal cutter or something i think that's the name of it and you don't have to get a cricket one they a lot of these companies make them so here's what's going to be my mat so i need to make sure that my uh, image is going to be smaller than my mat. So I need to, my mat is actually five by seven. So I need this to be less than five by seven. So let's do um, this first. So there's the five, but I am going to I'm going to just shave this part off. Now this is just, again, I could have just gone back and done this on my, on my Cricut, but I am, you know, whatever. And I need this to be five by seven. So this has to be seven inches. There's my seven inches. Is this going to work? No. Maybe, let's check. Not quite, not quite. So I do need to trim off the bottom a little bit, okay? Old school, this is going old school, okay? I'm gonna trim up this a little bit. Sometimes doing it old school, I was thinking about, you know, the empress this morning and you know sometimes doing it old school is fun um and i think what's even funner if that's the word is that the word funner i think what's even funner is um combining them both which that's kind of cool fun so of course you know i messed this up so <laughs> Oh, well, um, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to peel it off anyway. This is the printable vinyl. And if you want to be really straight about this, you can fold the back like this. I don't know why his, he's not helping by taking them out. But you can just kind of fold the back so that you can place this and it's not going to go awry. I have a hard time with placement and honestly i just mess that up so you guys i'm a mess today anyway so here's my uh, card base i'm going to take some tape this is double stick tape which you can buy at amazon or anywhere you want i think dollar tree sells it too and don't buy the expensive stuff because it's really not necessary. There we go. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to get my weeding tool. And here are my different, there's Clover, there's Lucky. And I am going to weed these. Come on. lucky um you see how this l came out came out fine but this one under clover what's wrong with this what is wrong with this let's use this nothing wants to work for me today well i'll fix that i'll use a brand new one um okay so let's weed this And the outside bit. Okay. Now, since this isn't cut out, and I don't know why, and I just didn't get around to asking uh, somebody else about it, what I'm going to do is I am going to try to hand do it with my true control knife. I'm going to start small. There 
there. Let's see how that looks. I don't want it to look too jaggedy, but that looks better. I just want my loops to be loopy. All right, you. Okay, better. Thank you. So um, here's our card front and a piece of transfer tape. I know. I don't know. He came in. He went out the back door. Doesn't he know that's not lucky to go come in the front door and go straight out the back door? That is not lucky. <laughs> that's one of my mother's old things. You don't put hats on the bed. Um, you do not come in and go straight out the back door. And what else is there? You never open an umbrella in the rain. Inside, I mean. So here we go. Lucky. You know, I got to tell you, I, I do get, uh, I do get like really frustrated that I live where I live and I work like this. And I know you guys are so nice but still i get people who are like oh i can't stand those dogs barking and it's like if i if i um if i just if i never did it because the dogs then we would never have the show because corgis just bark you know then i started thinking well maybe you need to get into a studio and you know, that means leaving the dogs, you know, so I don't know. I can't win, but, um, but whatever. I'm having fun. If you're having fun, then that's all that matters, I think. So, um, now the last bit here is taking off this double stick tape. That's Lola, by the way. And I did get a bottle of water, a spray bottle. Lola is unaffected unaffected do you know one time they were in a fight and this was a couple months ago they were in a fight in the kitchen and i didn't have a spray bottle and and i couldn't get them separated so i turned on um the faucet with the spray the nozzle and the faucet and i just sprayed them i just kept I, all i could think of was um goldie hahn in that movie overboard where she's like fire 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 and i just sprayed them eventually they did stop but the kitchen was covered and it was just all water all over you had to be real careful where you um did i know i know and frank i know frank um but i i am trying i'm trying guys and you know they just, the dogs are dogs. Anyway, so we put this on a little bit wrong and I got a cut right here, but this is your end result it is a print and cut with some vinyl. It's got a nice backing. And then here is the inside of the card. So this was my original one. So you can see um, that's how it's going to look. I'm going to try to give you this file. Um, but of course, with my luck, probably not going to work. So don't depend on it. Um, and, uh, I will try to do it if, if it works, then yay. Um, we're lucky today. And if not, then it doesn't work. So what are you going to do? All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, I want to remind you today is probably close to the last day to get your name in for that yellow cutie. And you have until the 30th of March to get your name in for the, um, one of the five prizes at the end of the month. Remember when we hit that 20,000, we're going to have a big old fun uh, party. And that I'm hoping that that's going to happen uh, by the end of the month. And if not, maybe we'll just have a party anyway. Who cares? All right, everyone.
Um, thank you so much for coming and we'll see you again tomorrow. Um, and you're welcome. And, um, and also tomorrow, remember, we're going to be working on these, these art panels. These are the, um, wood, this one here, these ones are wood, but if you can get over to Michael's to get these little art panels, they are really come in handy and they make cute little mini gifts. So we'll be working on that tomorrow. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves and each other. And we'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye.